Hello all. In this video, I will talk about Enderman syndrome, its clinical features and management. Enderman syndrome is an inherited autosomal recessive disorder that causes progressive damage to the nervous system. It is marked by neurodevelopmental defects and neurodegenerative features with a prime effect on the nerves used for muscle movement and sensation. It is also known as agenesis of corpus callosum which connects the right and left sides of the brain. Mutations in the SLC12A6 gene have been detected in the cases of Enderman syndrome. The cases of Enderman syndrome are exclusively found in a region of Quebec, Canada with an incidence rate of 1 in 2117 births. It is rarely found and reported in other parts of the world. Signs and symptoms of the disorder are mainly due to sensory and motor neuropathy. Areflexia, hypotonia, amyotrophy, weakness and loss of sensation in the limbs. The individuals who have Enderman syndrome, they begin walking late and lose this ability by adolescence. Tremors, intellectual disability, seizures, contractures, scoliosis, psychiatric symptoms including hallucinations, atypical physical features, a small head, long asymmetric face, small upper jaw, large ears and hypertelorism are some of the features which may be present in some of the individuals having Enderman syndrome. Cranial nerve problems may occur including facial muscle weakness, ptosis and gaze palsy. How to diagnose a case of Enderman syndrome? Usually family history and physical features raise suspicion. Complete neurological examination including CT scan and MRI of brain are confirmatory. Confirmation by molecular genetic testing is also required. Potential therapies for Enderman syndrome. There is no specific treatment for Enderman syndrome. Only symptomatic treatment can be offered. Physical therapy to maintain movement. Antipsychotics for psychiatric symptoms. Educational and developmental interventions for cognitive improvement. Surgery may be recommended in some cases for skeletal deformities. Genetic counseling is very important. It is highly recommended as there is a 25% chance for each sibling of an affected individual to be affected and 50% chance of becoming an asymptomatic carrier and a 25% chance to remain unaffected and not carrying the defected gene. Once a case of Enderman syndrome is identified in a family member, carrier testing for at-risk family members should be performed. Prenatal and pre-implantation genetic testing are also available and recommended for siblings of affected individuals. The prognosis or outcome of Enderman syndrome. It is a progressive disease and nearly all the individuals will eventually be wheelchair bound. Individuals having this syndrome typically develop severe neurological deficits in their 20s which make them more vulnerable. It is associated with a shortened life expectancy and proves to be fatal before the age of 40. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. See you all in the next video.